So you find yourself in a situation that a lot of other people have found themselves in and even I found myself in, so don't worry, you're not alone. And that is the situation of being unsure what style you wanna wear, but don't worry once again, cause today I'm gonna come through and help you find your style. I'm gonna show you all the best ways on how to find your style and as well then go and buy for the style that you wanna get into. Three things I'm gonna say before I even get into any of that. One, you should subscribe for more thrifting and fashion content and as well, you'd be insane not to but seriously don't feel like you've got to choose one style and then stick with that forever you can mix it up a little bit like I've got loads of different styles I go through one day I might dress like an 80s casual the next day I might dress like a skater and then the day after that I might dress like more like vintage clothes and stuff like that so don't feel like you've got to trap yourself in one style and that is going to be the end all decision forever you can mix it up along the way but also what does come with that try not to pick every style because it's going to make it impossible to buy clothes because you're just going to be trying to buy so many different outfits and the issue with that is probably the amount of money you're going to spend because no one really has enough money to buy clothes for every style and have loads of outfits for each and as well if you kind of stick with one kind of genre or one kind of area you'll make your life so much easier when it comes to actually like putting on outfits and selecting outfits just because you'll have all clothes from one kind of area not loads of different clothes from all different categories and trying to mash them together every time time you try and put an outfit together but you may now be thinking Josh how do I find my style? Like, I don't even know what style I want to get into. Well, it's super simple. Literally, just go onto like something like Pinterest or something like that and just start scrolling through and having a look at all different styles and all different just like outfits people have put together on there. The way I did it, I just searched maybe men's fashion, style, streetwear, anything like that. Or even if you do have like a specific style that you may want to get into or like the idea of getting into, type in that, maybe type in skater fashion or anything along those lines. And then whenever you come across an outfit that you think looks cool, just save it all to one board. And then once you've done that, you can go back through and have a look and just kind of see where the common factors are and then kind of go from there. And as well, once you've done that, Pinterest will start recommending you loads of different outfits and it will make your life even easier. The second way you can do this is just to go on Instagram, but I think Pinterest is so much easier because it cuts out you having to look for anything. Where on Instagram, you kind of got to look through how hashtags, look for accounts on Pinterest, it all, it's all just there. But if you are going to do it on Instagram, literally do it exactly the same, just look through hashtags, look through people's accounts, and then just save any outfits you do like to a folder. And then Instagram will start recommending stuff to you. And once again, your life will be even easier. But these are all the styles that I'm going to be going over today and showing you where you can buy clothes that fit in with these styles and kind of all the popular brands and all stuff like that and all the popular themes within these styles. But the first style, I'm going to be getting into is vintage and as the self-proclaimed thrifting king I would say I've probably got a decent amount of knowledge on this and where to buy clothes to dress in a vintage style. The cheapest way to do this is to definitely go thrifting, go to your charity shops or if you're in America and you're lucky you go to your thrift stores and you kind of look about and just kind of see what you like and just pick up items from there. It is going to be a lot more time consuming though because charity shops, thrift shops are very hit or miss. Like I know I've I've been to towns before and been to probably about 10 charity shops come away with absolutely nothing but on the other side of that I've also been to towns with five charity shops and come away with 10 items so it's a little bit more time consuming but it's definitely the best way to do it and the best way to get a big variety of items so the way to kind of fast track yourself into vintage is to go through depop or even go onto like vintage stores or go into vintage stores there's loads in London that I know about and in places like Brighton all places like that have loads of vintage stores. You are going to have to pay a premium if you do go on to Depop or go on these thrift stores because they're kind of saving you all the time on having to look for the stuff. Fifth time is a big thing for you. Depop and vintage stores in real life are the best way to go about it. The second style is like skater style. It's almost hand in hand almost with vintage but it is kind of like the modern equivalent almost of vintage. There's loads of common themes and brands all throughout skater culture and there's a lot of like thickies a lot of vans, Carhartt's also popular in there beanies is a big theme in like skater fashion baggy clothes is another big thing and in your more like trendy if you want to call it skater fashion or more hype be skater fashion you've got your brands like supreme and palace and all stuff like that but this is why i said it kind of comes hand in hand with vintage because you can get a lot of skater fashion stuff 
on places like Depop, go to the vintage stores, or even go charity shop thrifting, and you'll be able to find all stuff that will fit into this niche. And the best way to kind of research on this niche in a way, if you really want to get into it, you can watch skater like edits on YouTube. That's a really good way to see because you're getting like a really good like understanding of what real skaters kind of wear. You could also go to skate parks, but in the UK, it's probably going to be a little bit hit or miss for people wearing like proper skater style in the skate parks. The third style is tech wear. Tech wear, I don't really know too much about it, but there's loads of videos on Frugal Aesthetic about how to dress in tech wear. He's got a really good understanding of it. But my basic understanding of it, it's a lot of like black clothing. It's a lot of clothing that has a lot of pockets and more like utility kind of base clothing. It's a really sick style, but as I said, don't have too much knowledge on it. So go check out Frugal Aesthetic because he has loads of videos about it. The fourth style is Roadman style. I'm going to use Roadman as a broad term like that is just kind of like the meme name of it in a way if you want to call it that but this is probably the most popular style in the UK at the moment this is probably what you see everywhere if you walk down the street in the UK and it consists of a lot of track suits the biggest player being in this the Nike Tech track suits but they're going to set you back a decent amount big puffer jackets are really big in this style man bags are really big in this style or like side pouches or messenger bags whatever you want to call them with the Gucci man bag definitely holding number one for the biggest out of all of them. Hats are also a big thing this style. Beanies, especially in winter. Louis Vuitton is a big one for this one, but obviously that they're expensive. But also round browed caps are really big in it. D-squared probably running the game with the best ones. There's a lot of heavy branding in this style, so it's quite easy to go and get clothes for it. You can just go to places like JD. They're probably the best place to source track suits. And then if you want more of that, the high-end designer, places like Choice, Tasuti, Flannels, End Clothing, all places Places like that will be the best place to go. And then the fifth style is like 80s casuals, casuals, football hooligan style. This is really prevalent in the UK once again. Not so prevalent as it probably was once in the 80s and 90s. With Adidas probably running the game as the biggest brand in this style, especially for shoes. Like this is the biggest shoe for this style. Shoes like the Gazelle, the Sambas, all shoes that have kind of got that sort of silhouette for Adidas are definitely the biggest in this style. Branded track jackets are really big like Sergio Toshini, Fila, Nike, Adidas once again are probably the biggest ones but track jackets are almost like a staple of this style. Polo shirts are also a massive staple in this style with brands as I've just said being one of the main contenders and brands like Lacoste and Ralph Lauren. But the biggest two brands within this style without a doubt are Stone Island and CP Company mainly for the coats you will struggle to go to a football game and not see at least one of each brand with one being the the very minimum you'll see. You'll probably see at least 10 with the jackets, the jumpers, jeans, all stuff like that. Jeans are also a big thing in this style. They're probably the main choice of trouser for this style. But no matter what kind of style you want to go into out of all of these, without a doubt, it's going to take you a little bit of time to just build the wardrobe for it. But trust me, it will come before you know it. But I hope you found this video helpful and now know what style you want to go into or have a better idea of how to find that style. But as I said, I do hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in another video.